Vegan mock tuna recipes range from the popular chickpea-based preparations to other less used ingredients like jackfruit, artichokes and even hearts of palm. Today we will spare you another chickpea or jackfruit tuna recipe. The main ingredient used in this recipe is nothing new to us and has been featured here in our previous recipes. After a few tests, we came up with a certain way of preparing it that yields a texture and flavor that is so close to tuna, you could mistake it for the real thing. We call it our epic vegan tuna mayonnaise served in a jacket potato, which is simply irresistible. Let's start by preparing the potatoes. Preheat the oven at 200 degrees Celsius. Give the potatoes a good wash. Then prick them with a fork all over to ensure the heat gets inside for even baking. While they are still wet, rub them with some salt. Place them on a baking tray or on a rack and then lower the temperature of the oven to 170 degrees Celsius and bake for about one hour. Now let's prepare the vegan tuna. I'm using kombu or dried kelp to bring out a nice sea flavor undertone. If you don't have this, however, you can use other seaweeds like dulse or arame, or you can just omit it. So place a piece of kombu in about 3 to 4 cups of water and simmer until the water reaches a rolling boil. The main ingredient that I'm using for the tuna base is soya chunks, also known as texturized vegetable protein or TVP, which comes mainly in two forms, granules or chunks. In this recipe we are favoring the chunks as they yield a flaky meatiness that is closer to what we want to achieve. Place the soy chunks in the kombu broth and let it boil for about 5 minutes until rehydrated and soft. Meanwhile, chop the onions and garlic. You can omit these if you don't consume them. After 5 minutes, the soya chunks should be soft. Do not boil them for any longer than this, or they may not hold their texture very well. Drain the soya chunks from the kombu broth. You can keep the kombu if you want to eat it, chop it up and add it to noodle soups or other sauces. Lightly press out some of the excess liquid through a strainer. Next, we are going to stir-fry the soya chunks for a few minutes to firm up the texture. Heat a skillet on medium-high temperature, then add the oil. Once the oil is hot, add the soya chunks. Toss and stir-fry for 2-3 to three minutes until they start to slightly firm up. Add the soy sauce and continue to stir-fry for about 2-3 to three minutes. Then add the pineapple juice. Toss the soya chunks into the juice and stir fry until all the pineapple juice is absorbed. Pineapple juice and soy sauce are among the key ingredients in this preparation. We borrowed these ideas from our very own Chinese curry recipe that we shared a while ago, where its unique umami flavor really shone through thanks to the fresh pineapple and the soy sauce. This combination is what creates the kind of flavor bomb that we want to achieve in this faux tuna preparation. 
Remove the soy chunks from the heat and transfer to a jug for hand blending. Lightly blitz the soy chunks with a hand blender. Do not over process them. We want to keep a flaky texture and not mush them completely. You may need to scrape the blades of the blender occasionally. You can also pulse the soy chunks in a food processor, but again do not over process them. You can already see how close the texture is to real tuna. Now place the flaked soya into a mixing bowl along with the onions, garlic and sweet corn. Cut the nori sheet into small confetti pieces and add it to the bowl. You can add more nori to your taste depending on how fishy you'd like it to be or if you didn't use the kombu at the beginning. Add the vegan mayonnaise and mix everything together. You can add more mayonnaise to reach the desired creaminess. We have a vegan mayonnaise recipe that will be coming up in the near future, so stay tuned for this. Taste and adjust the salt and pepper. At this point, this vegan tuna is so irresistible that we almost forgot about the potatoes and started to dig into it straight away. We won't blame you if you do the same. But let's remove the potatoes from the oven. Test if they are done by pressing them lightly. If they feel soft, they are done. Otherwise, put them back in the oven for another 10 minutes or so. Make a slit into the potato and push the sides in to open it. Tuck in the tuna. Garnish with some spring onions and dig into the cloud of creamy fluffiness. These really rekindle memories I had before going vegan of creamy tuna mayonnaise along with the floury fluffy interior of the jacket potato. Something I had not tasted in a long time. This recipe is definitely worth a try. You can also certainly serve this vegan tuna in a sandwich or wrap or just with a side salad for a lighter lunch. If you do make it, don't forget to tag us on social media or leave a comment on the post or video. We really look forward to your feedback. Give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do. And you can also join our mailing list. This way you'll receive notifications of new recipes on the blog directly in your inbox. See you soon everyone. Bye.